Heartbroken supporters of a heritage church building in West Auckland watched as it was demolished today. A small group of locals gathered outside St Andrew's Sunday School Hall in Newland to say goodbye to the old building for the last time. Our camera operator Patrice Allen and reporter Jessie Chang were there. Built in 1928, the church is one of the oldest heritage buildings in the area. It's listed as a Category B building by Auckland Council, which means it is a place of significant heritage value. For Diane Sisley, St Andrew's Sunday School Hall on Margan Avenue holds many fond memories for her family. My granddad was a church elder, so um, my mother, who's 94 now, Doreen, she can remember tap dancing. She was in a tap dancing troupe and when World War II soldiers were here, they were dancing in their beautiful outfits and um, many lovely concerts were held here and dances and of course the bagpipes because 80% of Newland residents were of Scottish descent. Diane Sisley says it was her ancestors who supplied the bricks to build the church. My mother was the great granddaughter of William Johnson Parker of the Gardner and Parker Brickworks and Garden and Parker Brickworks supplied 200,000 bricks free, of course. She says if her grandfather was here, he would have liked it if the church was used as a homeless shelter. Oh, my heart is heavy. <laughs> I'm about to cry. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I'm very sad, and I think we really need to put effort into preserving our, our history. Emotions were also running high for Penny Laybourne from the New Lynn Protection Society. I did really well up because I had expected not to see the big pitched roof on the on the skyline as they walked over the rise from home but she's still there and I just oh it made me happy that I could get one more glimpse of the building and um, just remember. And as RNZ was talking to Penny Laybourne demolition crews started to ask bystanders to leave the area directly outside the church. Yellow tape was rolled out and orange cones were laid out on a part of Margan Avenue. It was a sad sight for Ms Laybourne, who has been campaigning for five years to save St Andrew's Sunday School. It's currently privately owned, and the local says she's been trying to work with the owner to restore the building. Every time I talk to him, the story changes. One day he wants to save the church hall, and one day he's asking me how can he demolish it, and the next day he wants to chop the Pahutakawa tree. Penny Laybourne hopes at the very least they'll be able to save the bricks of the church from going to the landfill. Former councillor for the ward Ross Close says Auckland Council departments should have worked together more efficiently to prevent the church being destroyed. You've got a demolition order being issued by one side of council, the compliance people then have to follow that. The heritage people are saying, hey, slow down, we want to try and save this, and they're going, wow, this is a multi-headed monster being the council. So. But Auckland Council denies that its Heritage Unit and its Compliance Investigations team haven't been talking to each other. It says after inspections it issued a dangerous building notice in late March. An independent engineering consultancy also confirmed that the church was immediately dangerous and at risk of collapse. The council says all avenues were considered to save the church, but demolition was the only safe option. It says an investigation is open and ongoing into the circumstances of St Andrew's Sunday School Hall. The owner of the building has been contacted. Itamaki Makoto o te hōtaka o te ahi ahi nei, ko te si chang tēnei.